Hello everyone, welcome to Nitya Cloud Tech. Hope all of you are doing good. In this video, we are going to talk about resource group and subscription. So what exactly is resource group and subscription? So when you create any of the service, let me create, let's try to create a storage account. Create new. Okay. So if you see, it is giving me option choose subscription and resource group first. So first I need to choose these two things and then I can go ahead. So if you try to create other as well, let's say data factory now, it will give you the same option. See, subscription and resource group. So what exactly is subscription and resource group? Let's try to understand. So basically, we'll try to understand using this Azure Management DFD data flow diagram. So actually, Azure has four level of hierarchy. First one is management group. Second one is subscription. So you may have multiple subscription for your uh, in your Azure portal for like one user. And under subscription, you may have multiple resource group and uh, under resource group you may have multiple resources so this is exactly the hierarchy so why this is required let's try to understand first resource group so you have to organize your resource in the cloud basically organizing your resource in the cloud is critical for securing managing and accurate tracking costs related to your workloads. So whenever you use any of the resources or any of the services we can so say, so we need to track each and everything. So suppose you have multiple, you know, multiple resources which you are using. So you may have different department as well, different department as well. So for one subscription, you may use some resource group and for another subscription you may use another resource group so to manage all these things azure has provided four level of hierarchy so first is management group so basically using management group we can identify which subscription they are we are using and similar similar for others other subscription so basically it helps us to organizing the resources. For organization operating in Azure, you can create logical groups of resources called resource group to easily apply access, controls, monitor, activity, and manage spend on a granular level in your Azure environment. So resource group, you can assume it is a container or it is a folder where you will put all your related resources. So if I talk about resource group and if I talk about the difference between resource group and resources, so SQL server is one of the services or I can say resources. A storage account is one of the services or I can say resources. Similarly, there are other services or resources and combination of resources is called resource group. So, Azure provide option to create a management group hierarchy to manage your subscription and resources when you have multiple subscription. So when you use this, what happened? Azure management group help you efficiently manage access. What are the access policies and compliance? So you may have required different access for different subscription and uh, different policies and com compliance. So that will basically, the meaning is, it will help us to create a organize, to create our resources in a organizable way. Let's try to create one resource now. Okay, so let me go into the home. Let's say if you need to create, create any of the resource, let's say data factory. So you will click here, data factory, and then you will click on create. And then you can choose. So I have only one subscription, so I can just free trial. 
and resource group either i have one adf demo or you can create new from here so let's create new resource group so you can adf demo one so it is checking better yeah i can use this name so new and now instance details so i am basically creating a central data factory adf demo two and with configuration path i can do later and add working advanced review review plus create so it is now validating whether everything is fine or not validation plan required information in machine so we need to mention something by clicking create previous basic so, so okay so it is not taking this name so adf demo 452 let's take this and try creating So validation part and now it is creating. So it will take some time to deploy it. Submitting deployment. So once you create this resource group, then as per your requirement, you can put your different resources under this resource group. So let me show you. Mm, so still it is in progress. It will take some, it may take some time, maybe one or two minutes. Yeah, deployed succeed. Okay, let's go to the source. So see, we have this ADF demo 452. Now, whenever you create another resource, so you are, you will have option to choose the resource. So if I see this, this is, uh, there is this, this resource I have already created. If I click here, so I will see all the resources under this so i have two resources under this adf demo 451 and lc demo 451 but if i go to other one which we have just created we will not show see any resources of yeah adf demo one see it sorry we have just created 452 so that's why it is showing 452 So like this, you can create resource group and under resource group, you can create resources. So that's all for this video. Uh, if you like this or uh, if it is helpful, then please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you, everyone.